Several companies own tower clocks in Kampala city. They are costly and not easily found in Uganda's market. Alex Kamgisha has made one of these clocks. I did this because we realized that we've been importing these clocks. Because this is a tower clock, we've been importing them outside Uganda from China and other foreign countries. I realized that we can make them on our own and we earn all that money. The clock, synchronized with an already made one, has 12 gears. To make it, you need to first cut plastic gears like this. So to cut this, you need a, a laser machine, because you can't do it without a laser machine. You have to first design using your computer. The gears are of different sizes, and each one plays a different technical role. So for the hour hand, it is controlled by a smaller gear. And for the minute hand, it is controlled by the bigger gear. So the smaller gear is connected to the bigger gear, and they move at the, at the same time. And although it does not yet have a second hand, the hour and minute hands have coordinated movements. We use AC from the socket, but the rectifier turns it into DC. The clock has an Arduino board and it is on it where the microcontrollers are also attached. And the microcontroller basically acts as the central nervous system of this entire clock. And it, during programming, it is the same that receives signals from a computer. Kamgisha wants to improve his innovation. We bring the, the top cover where the digits will be for you to determine that it's 11 o'clock or 7. So when this, when this is covered by that top cover, it will be even looking more beautiful than you can see it right now. The innovator says he's already installing some clocks for some reputable companies. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV Innovation Nation.